What's up guys, this is Unknown from Notion Hub and in this video, I'm going to show you the most important tips and tricks of Redmi Note 10s. By the way, I'll also be making a best features video on this phone where I'll be showing you all the best features offered by this phone. So do check it out, link will be in the description. Now with that said, let's start with navigation gestures. Once you enable this, you can swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold for recent apps, swipe left or right from the edge to go back. You can swipe up diagonally from left or right bottom corners to launch Google Assistant. And you can swipe left and right on the bottom to switch between apps. Next, you can launch Google Assistant with power button. Once you enable this toggle, you can press and hold the power button for half a second to launch Google Assistant. You can press and hold for few more seconds to access the power menu. Next, we have dark mode. Once you enable dark mode, system UI elements change to dark mode, even the stock apps change to dark theme, and some of the third-party apps also change to dark mode. You can also schedule it to turn on and turn off at the same time every day. Next we have fingerprint recognition method. This phone comes with side mounted fingerprint scanner and it has two methods to unlock, touch and press. If you select touch option, you can unlock the phone with just a touch on the fingerprint scanner. And if you select press option, you have to press the power button to unlock the phone. So if you want to avoid accidental touches, you can go with this option. Next we have palm gesture. Once you enable this, you can show your palm to the front facing camera and the phone will take a picture in few seconds. Here's a quick preview. Next we have few things in camera. Now you can also disable the toggle camera sounds. So there won't be any shutter sound while taking a picture. Next we have screenshots. You can press power button and volume down button at the same time to take a screenshot. Now that works on most Android phones. But now if that's a bit difficult for you, or you just want an easier way, you have three finger screenshot. Once you enable this, just swipe down on the screen with three fingers to take a screenshot. Next we have long screenshot. To take a long screenshot, you can either use buttons or the gesture and the preview pop-up will appear on the screen. Now tap on scroll and it will start taking a long screenshot. Next we have split screen mode. You can open split screen from recent apps page. Just tap and hold on the app in recent apps page and select split screen. You can also use a shortcut. In open split screen options, once you select long press the menu button, you can tap and hold on the recent apps button or the menu button to open the current application in split screen mode. This is much convenient way. Next, we can enable split screen for all apps. As all apps don't support split screen, you can enable that by going to about phone page and then tap on MIUI version few times. Now the developer options are enabled, go to additional settings and here you can find developer options. Now scroll down and enable this toggle called force activities to be resizable. Now once you restart the phone, all apps will open in split screen mode. Next, we can show memory status. Once you enable this toggle, it will show the current RAM usage in the recent apps page. Next, we can display battery percentage and network usage. In settings, it will give you few options. Only icon without percentage, percentage inside icon, percentage outside icon. You can choose any one based on your preference. Now if you enable this toggle, show connection speed, it will show the real time network usage on the status bar. Next, you can change default launcher. Now from here, you can change the default launcher of your phone. Next, this phone has app lock. Here you can select the apps you want to lock and then just go to its settings and enable the toggle for fingerprint and face unlock. Now you can use pattern or fingerprint or face unlock to unlock an application. Here's a quick preview. So guys, these are the most important tips and tricks for your Redmi phone. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you are planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, reach out to us with the hashtag AskGreeTech on Twitter and we'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm unknown from Notion Hub. Meet you in the next one.